So yeah, I know I uh, won't skip the tutorial on battles, but like I say, I think we'll just learn as we go along. Baldor, okay, well this is a bad position to be in, because we're definitely going to get attacked now. I should actually mention, that's right, that, sorry, red doesn't just mean that you can get attacked, red is like the danger zone, it's like the one place where you will get most damage dealt to you. The blank areas are areas where you are still in danger of being attacked, but it's not going to be an attack that will, well, it's not, not, not the most dangerous position to be in. There we go. There we go. So, oh my god, look! Well, actually, I think the, the story points it out. There we go. Well, it was either that or be stuck in this goddamn canyon since you're not willing to fly high. What's the matter, Edge? You got a bit of vertigo? With a name like Edge, having vertigo is a very bad, bad thing. Hear the dragon breathing. It's very relaxing. Canyon Deep Gulch. Berserk Micro. That restores your BP, which stands for Berserk Points. Well, what's this then, eh? Let me see. It's a ship. Let's access it. Oh, a recorder. Dickens. So this ship was destroyed by Crayman and Co. And it appears that this ship was guarding a dragon. But it couldn't have been our dragon, so there must have been another dragon that it was protecting. Hmm. Interesting. Oh man, we've had really bad luck with these Baldurs. There's some pretty piss poor camera work there, but I think you can get the picture. We were attacked by the spinal arrows. Yes, and in case you noticed that, I didn't actually have to bring up the action menu that time, because it, you bring, you can bring up the action menu, so I'll pause it while I'm describing this, you can bring up the action menu whilst pressing C, and then you can choose sort of like, uh, in a similar style to this menu, or if you just hold down A, you will automatically enter uh, gun targeting, and if you press and hold down B, you will automatically enter... Uh, laser targeting, and if you continue to hold it down, then if you have multiple gauges, then you will automatically attack using that uh, specified attack, which prevents you from losing time and opening yourself up from enemy attacks. It's a nice little trick. A 
haven't leveled up yet because I've had some bad luck with my battles. Getting excellent or great really does depend on, on where you end up because you can end up in any of the four positions. Okay, we're safe here. Kill out the urchins. Okay, and now you can see there, weak spot. Maximum damage. And these gelata urchins have absolutely no red spots, so they're not really that dangerous. And yes, we have level 2, and we have learned the Berserk Heal. So now we can use the Berserk to heal ourselves. Let's take a look at them anyway. What the hell? Ah, oh, it's here, isn't it? Defense class. Recovers 8p. Costs 17. That's nice. And, oh yeah, I thought I might as well show you this now. Um, yeah, so when you defeat an enemy, you now get a entry in a diary sort of thing. Encyclopedia. We've only defeated monsters so far, but... And it will tell you... Your best score against them. That way you can find and... Uh, beat them. In a better manner. Oh, sorry, I forgot about that. Yes, you press C and you get data, and then you get this. The slow-moving hunter makes its home in the mountains. It's tr it, oh, sorry. It tracks potential meals and fires spines at its prey. Once its prey is dead or immobilized, it feeds. And it will tell you its attacks and its specials. Found in the valleys, these peaceful creatures feed on rocks and minerals. They travel in small communal groups. They can only attack to the front, and have no natural defences. The female form of the Patago. Her role is to nurture the others in her group. She may heal herself, and any companion she has at any given time. One hell of an underbite. Or overbite. Whatever. Bound or live in rocky regions, hunting in pairs. They use their spines to weaken prey and their powerful jaws to finish them off. Baldor are defenseless from behind. Yes, yeah, so every once in a while I'll update you on the new enemies and I think it's quite nice to find out. I myself. Oh, I was gonna say, I myself haven't read them all, so I'll read them as I go along. Oh, fuck me, Baldor Queen. I think we're, we're, we're talking boss territory now. This little bitch spews out Baldor spawn, and it changes our luck. Considerably. Okay. And we need to use the gun here because we can target the weak spot and focus our energies entirely on the Battle Lord Queen, which is what we want to do. We can get absolutely mullered by her Battle Lord Brood if they get us. Focus on a weak spot, we should have a. Her. 
Nice introductory boss fight there. Yay, great fight. I didn't get excellent there because, well, actually, I'm not, I'm not really good enough to get excellent, I must admit, at this game most of the time. 